nightmares. Oh wait, no. I want the I want the song to play from the beginning. Welcome the nightmares. The cause of my nightmares. Like I'm finally facing it. Cuphead. Hey guys, what is up? So today we will be playing a game named Cuphead. Which I've actually never beaten. So it's... I, I don't really know how it turns out. So, let's just get straight into it. Bam. Also, again, if I cough a couple times, please do not be alarmed, okay? Look, I am negative. Like, if I disappear for like one or two months, like... Don't go all theorist on me and go, oh, he has COVID. No, I don't. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. Wise. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, Ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. If you ever see a place called the Devil's Casino, immediately grab a bunch of TNT and blow it up. But don't actually blow up things, that's a crime, but just don't go in. But I mean, the chances of you seeing a thing called the Devil's Casino are very little, cause that place doesn't exist in the world. But I don't know if miraculously happened, don't. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino sleazy managers. These fellows can lose. Also, don't go to a casino and never gamble. Lessons. Nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Ooh. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggested, with a toothy grin. Win money one more roll, and, I'll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls, deal. Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed for the dice throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls, the brothers pleaded for their very lives. The, there must be another way, w w way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Y yes, p please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil, ah, okay. I accidentally misclicked. You have to collect the souls of the runaway debtors. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I'll be the coll collecting yours. If you want, you could pause it on, on where I accidentally misclicked so you can read it. But basically, he asked them to collect the souls, basically kill their the, the devil's runaway debtors. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. And that's the beginning. Ooh. Ah, what a fine pickle you've gotten into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil. But if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fate. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts. And you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Tutorial. Let's go. Duck, hold down to crouch. B, jump. Tap for short. Hold for high. X. X, dash. Quick evade on ground or air. Cool. 
Down and B, drop down from certain platforms. Y, shoot, hold for rapid fire. R, lock. Cool. Parry slap, press jump while airborne to nullify or interact with pink objects. This also builds your super meter. So, basically, you can parry pink things, and this is how it works. So that's how it works. You basically bounce off of pink's, pink things. It builds my super meter, which is basically my cards, as you can see on the bottom left. Resurrect. Revive your dead pal with a well-timed parry on the ghost. Two-player mode only. Obviously. X move or EX move. An upgraded attack that requires one super meter card, aka the, the cards on the bottom left, as I s explained before. So basically you just become full Goku and do a Kamehameha. Coin. Collect coins to purchase from items in the shop. Okay, seems like it's gonna be a good good round. Let's go. So I have one coin in my inventory right now, and this is like the map. It's an apple, let's talk. Hey fellas, look like you've been, you're in it for now, huh? Well, I used to be in the same way, always getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer to just stroll around and go into the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Three coins. Thanks. There's a shop. I mean, I have four coins, so I should buy something. Pork rinds emporium. Let's go. Let's go. Heart. Extra hit point. Mmm. This is good, but it lightly weakens my attack power. Spread. Short range with great damage if you can keep it close to your target. Long range with below average damage. No aiming required, but it's below average damage. Roundabout. Great coverage with average damage. Aim backwards for max maximum range. So that's pretty cool because even if you can't shoot directly, it would still go back. So, but I feel like the best one to do is a spread. Also, don't think I noticed that little piggy on the on the right. Goodbye. Goodbye. I I'm gonna stop. <laughs> also, you noticed I have a new microphone. You gotta equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. Okay, equip menu. Shot B. The spread. Okay. What should we do first? This? Force Follies. Run and gun. Okay, let's go. Our first level. Let's see what we can do. Now, go. I'm more like a speedrunner guy. Okay. That, that's a bad start. I'm more like a speedrunner guy. I, I go pretty quick. So this is like the pea shooter or something. I think that's what it's called. Um, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but since the spread is spread, I think it does pea shooter damage, but since, since it spreads, it's more attack, so. Was that purple or pink? I don't know. Well, that's pink. Perry! No! Ah, whatever. Shoot him. What is this guy? Perry, let's go. Get. Perry, let's go. Ah! Perry that, boom. Perry that, boom. Attack him, jump. Ah, it's eight, acorn! Perry that. Where did that acorn come from? Wherever they came from. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Epic dodge. Oh! 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 Ah! No! I jumped into the acorn! Nowhere to run! Nowhere to go! This forest is your foe. Second attempt. Let's go. Check this out. Double 
Ooh, what? Okay. So I'm sorry if I keep on retrying because I, I I feel like it's bad to take damage really early on in the on the level. Boom, parry. Ah, what? I ran into the mushroom. So you can see I'm a noob. <laughs> But that's fine. I'll get better. Whoa! Close. Shoot him. Bam. Bam. Die. Bam. Parry. Let's go. Parry. Let's go. Ah, come on. I had to just run straight into it, didn't I? I'm on 1 HP and I'm very scared. Oh, thank God. That was a good parry. Lucky parry! Lucky parry! Man, I had to dash right out of that one. Okay, so I've never been here before. Oh, no. What is this? It's an acorn maker. Shoot! The X move, yeah. Kill the stupid mushroom! No one cares about you, mushroom! And just like that, first level completed. Okay, let's see. Let's see my grade! 1 minute 35 seconds, HP, 1 out of 3, parry, 3-3, three, 5-5, three, five, five, skill level. A minus! Pretty good for my first level. Okay. So, we got 5 coins out of that. So, uh, should we go back to the shop? Yeah, I think we're gonna go back to the shop. Probably gonna get the other, this heart thing, because adds an, an, an additional hit point, but like, like, weakens my attack power. But that's fine if it weakens my attack power, because still, I, I have a very strong weapon already to start with, so let me equip it. Charm, heart, bam. Uh, this. Botanic Panic, the root pack. Let's go! A great slam is in, son. Ooh, it's a work parry! Uh, I didn't have time. Is it just me or is he shooting faster? Oh, come on! Ah! Parry. I don't want to kill him, I want to get all parries, so. I think you have to get three parries. Okay, that's enough. Time to die, idiot. Ah! Okay, thank God. Ah! Onion, die. Oh wait, he's friendly. Oh no, he's not friendly, he's not friendly. Use the, use the, no! It's okay to, if you have to cry. I mean, he didn't attack. A brawl is surely brewing. How can I not parry that? What? Whoa, I parried that. Use the spread. Use the spread as much as I can. Woo! Oh, those are parryable. So. Boom. I think this is the last phase. Destroy. Come on. Destroy the evil carrots. Bam. What's this? Whoa! It's a laser beam. Bam! Well, I have to do 
do is stand here. I think the final phase is the easiest. Ah, no! How did I take a hit? Okay, bam. Die. Defeated. Man, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> Two minutes, three seconds. Parry. Two out of three. Six, six, six. That's a B. Still pretty good. Cause B means above average. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have to end it. I've run out of time, but whatever, that's fine. We've played through enough. Bye-bye. I'll upload some new videos.